Welcome to the Slocum Studio. September is kitchen month and today we're going to be talking about detailing around refrigerators. Yeah, your refrigerator is your largest kitchen appliance and if you don't want it to look like a big carbuncle in the middle of the room, you have to spend a bit of time detailing it to give it an integrated look. And this image shows the problem with the typical... There it is, the carbuncle. Uh, you know, the carbuncle, the typical uh, standard depth refrigerator because they are two foot six deep, which means they stick out past the line of the counter because most counters are two feet deep and they look like a big object in the corner of the room. Yeah, and that comes from the time when you used to be able to just take your appliances with you when you moved and so you had to have an oversized space to put a refrigerator in because you didn't know what kind of refrigerator you were getting and that just isn't the case as much anymore particularly if you want to have a really well designed looking kitchen. Yeah with a custom kitchen what you want is you want a look that's more integrated and seamless so what you can do is you can simply add a millwork gable to the end of the exposed edge of the fridge this is a standard depth fridge so it's not expensive and then just by adding that cabinet on top it gives it a built-in look and more seamlessly integrates with the rest of the kitchen. So if you want to take things one step further, you can look at a different kind of refrigerator, which is a counter depth refrigerator, which means it's 24 inches deep, but it also means it's a little bit wider. It has to be three feet wide as a minimum in order to make the refrigerator large enough. Here we've got another kitchen plan, so we can see there's the the refrigerator right there, and it is actually built in so that it does not have that step anymore. And what that really lets you do is integrate it into the cabinetry as we see it right here. Yeah, it's a lot more of a seamless look. I mean, you pay more money for this because it is more expensive, but the mill workers can actually use the same paneling as the kitchen on the doors of the fridge, and then you get that very flush look where everything is all on the same plane. So remember, a little bit of care and attention in the way in which you place the refrigerator into the millwork can go a long way in making a kitchen look really great. See you next time. If you're in the Calgary area or planning to visit, we encourage you to register for one of our Fall 2011 Live Slow Home Studio courses. The courses are design-based and they're available to anybody. No experience is necessary. Kitchen Design Workshop 1 will be offered Saturday, September 17th from 9.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. House Design for Empty Nesters featuring design tips on how to downsize will be offered Saturday, September 24th from 11 a.m. until 12.15 p.m. Just How Green Is This House? Seminar in Practical Sustainability will be offered Saturday, September 24th from 1 p.m. until 2.15 p.m. And Green Design Workshop 1 featuring design tips for passive solar design will be offered Saturday, October 1st from 9.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. You can register online at slowhomestudio.com or you can phone and register at 403-229-4330.